But, you know, I really, I've always said this, and, you know, I think that we have the best jobs in the world. You know, where we can live in, in, a, in the Bay Area, we can travel, um, we can meet great people, we can meet celebrities. I'm, I'm as excited to meet a celebrity as anybody else. And we can meet the everyday people who make up our neighborhoods. I mean, we've got the blend of everything. I mean, I really think that we have the best jobs. And I'm always flattered when people come up to us and tell us, that they want our jobs. But they can't have them. <laughs> right. Outside one. All right, here we go. Rehearsing. Action. Hollywood called me. I didn't call Hollywood. I was minding my own business, being a bodyguard. Is there a serious side to Carol Dota? I'd rather laugh. Why not laugh, huh? Well, Roger Moore is beneath all of it. What Roger Moore is like beneath all of that is something else. Ah. Action. In terms of celebrities, uh, my favorite celebrity of all time. Men in the male category, winning the male category, Kenny Rogers. I mean, first, I, I, I should say for years I said Wayne Newton was my absolute favorite celebrity of all time. Then I interviewed Kenny Rogers earlier this year. He was just so down to earth and, and funny and real. And there were no questions that we couldn't ask him. You were on your fourth marriage. You've messed up three. And you've admitted that Wait it was your fault. I didn't say I messed up, though. It, I said I those three. I read that three. in one of these articles. I said that. Yes, in well, one of these articles. I messed up two of them. The other, no, actually, I probably messed up all three of them. Jan does good interviews because she is able to ask people very, very personal questions about their personal hygiene habits, even, without good offending boy. them. She can ask you a question without offending <laughs> you. Talk about conditioning. If I asked that, I would probably end the interview right there. What are his vices? Let's we, get into it. We both, we both, uh, <laughs> on camera, yeah. on camera, I will ask anything. I mean, I always say, I hide behind the veil that I get paid to ask. And I've asked people how much money they make and are they planning to get married and are they, in fact, going with this person that we read about. And, I mean, I will ask that. <laughs> This is Acapulco. During the winter season, this is the home for the beautiful people. There is one person that I thought I was really going to enjoy meeting, and I was just devastated when I got there to meet him. Harold Robbins, the author. Your book's about sex, money, women, men, power, fame. Is that a reflection of your lifestyle? Uh, mostly, yes, because I'm an erotic. And all I have to do is turn on and see very, very beautiful girls. And then I can't think of anything else except sex, power, money, and beautiful people. I thought that he was worse than the worst male character in one of his books. Worse than any male chauvinist character he could ever possibly write about in his books. He was worse than that. Why do you think that you have this way of seeing the world? I have a very sick mind. That distorts my vision. I see everything almost upside down and naked. Okay, stand by, fellas, please. And the roll cameras. Action! You know who is the nicest guy in the world, the nicest interview, the most cooperative person, the most generous, is Tom Selleck. Hi, guys. Tom Selleck is an example of a guy who is even nicer off camera than his persona on television or on the movie screen. Luciano Pavarotti is a little chair about there on stage. He is so darling. Ladies love him. He is such a cute guy, but he is a jerk. And they like this kind of personality of a man of 45. Luciano Pavarotti refused to use the chair we wanted him to sit in. He refused to wear the microphone we wanted him to. And every once in a while when I'd ask him a question, he'd say, I don't like that question. Ask me another question. Just like that. That was it. And... Yeah. And he, you know, he would say something like, that is a stupid question. Okay, sorry, Luke. 